Center Max. Guess I didn't. Hey there, everybody. Welcome to Take It Outside. My name is Rich. As you can see, we are having a cold March morning. I thought that we were about done with the winter, but up here on the mountain on the range, it is it is freaking cold. A um, little bit of snow, nothing too bad. Uh, perfect time to try out this new rifle I got, though. Uh, you were looking at the Mossberg Patriot chambered in 30 6 Now, it's a uh, it's a very hated rifle. I looked up a lot of reviews on this thing. I've looked up, uh, done a lot of due diligence and research, and that's actually what made me want to get this gun. Uh, people hated it. They absolutely, they said it was inaccurate, that it was a junk rifle, that uh, it was crap out of the box. And I did, uh, when we go through everything, you know, tip to butt later, I'll go through and show you what I did find that was wrong with it, uh, an easy fix that I had for it. It cost me about 25 cents, so there's nothing too bad there. Um, I have already taken it out. Uh, the bore sighting was freaking pretty spot on with it, actually. It was only uh, maybe four or five inches low at 50 yards. I got it dialed in in just a couple shots. Uh, was able to put it out to 250, no problem. I did put a uh, cheapo little bipod on here. This is the Vortex Crossfire 3 to 9. Yeah, the 3 to 9 by 40 that it came with haven't taken it off, really haven't done anything to this rifle except for pull it out of the box and make sure it was shooting straight. Um, other than that, we'll, uh, we'll see how she's doing. So now we got the bench view of the Mossberg Patriot and 30 out six. I just wanted to go through a couple of little details with you guys. First off, I love the scope. I am a really, really big fan of Vortex scopes. As you can see over here on my AR, I have another Vortex Crossfire scope. I love them. They're, they're great for what they are. They're cheap, they do a great job. Like I said, I did put the bipod on. It's an extendable bipod. Ow. Something I love about this is the buttstock on it is actually, I mean, look at that. You can see it just a little bit of finger force and it's, it's matched right around my finger. The cheek well actually fits, lines up with, with your cheek and where you want to sit very nicely. Uh, those were pleasant surprises. Yeah. The trigger is adjustable. I got it set down to probably about three pounds of pull right now. It is a two-stage trigger when it's, or when it's actually racked back and it, gotta say, I do like the trigger. The bolt is this clear. The bolt has this kind of cool spiral fluting design to it. You can see there it's got the two lug lock in, a bolt extractor. She is a little dirty, but you know what? That's a good test for today. Your rifle should run dirty. If it doesn't run dirty, get a different one. Other than that, I mean, she's pretty basic. It's, uh, you can definitely see the, the similarities between the Remington 700, uh, especially in some of the texturing on the stock. They, they definitely took some, uh, some designs from there. Looks like they got some design influence from a CZ, but I don't know. I don't know what was in their designer's heads. Uh, real quick, I did want to go through and show you that modification I had to make. Now, we'll go ahead and pop the bolt back out. look up the bad reviews for this gun and as you can see it is empty but if you look up the bad reviews for this gun one of the ones that you'll find is that this magwell is plastic and if you look it's kind of hard to show it on camera but in there there's actually a gap and the screw it goes into the freaking lower receiver goes right through there straight through plastic hits the lower or the receiver and then it just puts a lot of pressure on that. The torque value for it, I believe, was nine uh, inch pounds. It, I got it pre-cracked. Like this gun came from the factory with a cracked magwell. Really bummed me out. I was really upset about that before I even came to shoot it. I was actually cursing Mossberg and uh, I was pretty pissed off. What I ended up doing was I got a metal shim, grinded it down so that it fit, put the screw through it, tightened her up, 
put a little bit of super glue on the inside of the plastic of the mag wall to kind of hold it together tightened it to the right torque value i still didn't over torque it and then as you can see there's no play in there she's tight it's got a good nice lock up and everything i'm about to show you how she does it uh, about 250 yards see if we can get her to reach out a little further as far as the ammunition for today we got two to pick from we're going with good old-fashioned remington core lock 150 grain and then 165 grain federal fusion bonded soft points both of these performed great out of this rifle all right well let's get to shooting add break Now we are trying out the Federal 165 grain bonded soft points. So, I actually just figured out another gripe about this gun. Pretty upset about this now. Now, I should have checked this before bringing it out. This was, I'll consider this my bad for trusting anything from the factory. try to show you guys this you can kind of see it you see how those crosshairs are not square to the firearm anymore they were when I got here so so I was sitting there why am I missing these last few shots that's because I actually had to aim the entire mill to the left to get it to hit because those crosshairs had moved so much. That is absolutely ridiculous. 
I have to go through, make sure to retorque those rings, make sure that the mounts, that everything is good to go on this thing. And overall, final thoughts on her. Could definitely do worse, could definitely do better. It's a slick looking rifle. But, you know, what else can I say? 250 yards, you can see it out there. It's not that far. That's, uh, I'm gonna have to do something about those scope rings. Definitely get that figured out, do an update on this video, let you guys know how that ends up working out. So that's uh, an assembly issue, not a, a defect issue. Once I figured out where it was shooting, it, it put it right on target where it was supposed to. Well, that being said, this is, uh, this is Take It Outside. My name's Rich. I'll give you guys a beautiful little panoramic view here real quick and uh, share a little bit of this North Country beauty. Hopefully the rest of the country doesn't still have snow. Y'all have a good one. Stay safe. Remember the three rules of firearm safety and we'll see you next time.